the full-blown audit, where they tell you they want you to come to the office and bring all your receipts, you know, is, is something you just have to be careful that you're well organized for and you don't inadvertently give them clues into something that perhaps you don't want them to know. Experienced tax preparers are used to IRS audits. No big deal for them. For the average taxpayer, an audit ranks right up there with a root canal, something you really want to avoid. While we'll never know exactly how the IRS pulls a return to audit, there are red flags. First, wrong preparer. If the IRS believes your accountant is claiming fake deductions, they could audit all of their clients. So know who you're dealing with. They're watching the preparers. And if you claim too many earned income credits or too many education credits, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll challenge the preparer. Red flag number two, calling something a business and deducting losses on it when it's actually a hobby, thus not eligible for deductions. You want to qualify as a business? Sooner or later, you got to make money. In general, you need to try to make some money. It's, you don't want a business that's only producing losses. Another potential red flag, taking deductions for things like charitable contributions that are large relative to your income. Bottom line, take every deduction you're entitled to, red flag or not. But if you're in a gray area, just document everything the best you possibly can. And get more information. It's waiting for you at MoneyTalksNews.com. Just do a search for Tax Hacks 2017. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson.